Hello everybody, my name is Lutara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. Just released Pirate Ninjas 4, which I think is going to be a good game that's going to sell a ton of copies. I hope at least. We will see. Uh, I believe the plan was to make a fighting game. My first fighting game. It's popular. It's completely unsaturated because it's new. And then I feel like a role-playing game would be a no-brainer. It's extremely popular, not super saturated. And we have several good role-playing IPs, and we're good at making them. So we're going to do that. But before we do that, let's back up the bus a little bit here. We are going to expand these rooms. Actually, you know what? I want them to finish this. Let's just take it off pause for a minute. And they're done. All right. And they are done with whatever they're researching, which was hardware. What hardware is there now? Case for stationary. We do not care about that. We will not be making a stationary console anytime soon. So let's get primitive physics level three. Are there any game reports we can bang through here? There is two. Let's do that. It is a summer slump right now, so sales are going to be low. So I want to buy more property so I can expand these two rooms. I've been talking about it for a few episodes now. I believe it's time. So which property do I want to use for this? Um... I mean, what are we looking at? Like, actually, let's go, let's go down here. Let's go down here. Let's buy this property. 8 million. We have 124 million, so that's fine. This is a fairly large property, so let's get a lounge. Boom. Um, Actually, let's take that away. There we go. And put the door here, and we're gonna auto furnish. I'm not big. I'm not a big fan of, of furnishing myself. I'm good with letting the AI furnish. And want some toilets. Perfect. Then I am gonna need a support room. Question is, how big do I want the support room to be? Doesn't need to be very big. That should be plenty. Oh yeah, six desks. Yep, that's fine. All right, so let's grab them. Let's drop them in there and they can get this customer support queue back down to zero. All right, destroy. Do not need you there anymore. All right, and then the whole rest of this is gonna be a sound studio. At some point, we'll probably move the support room and make the whole thing a sound studio. So this is gonna be way bigger than it needs to be at this point. I'm well aware <laughs> that this is much bigger than it needs to be. And that's okay. We're just kind of future-proofing. Eventually, this will get filled. Won't be today, <laughs> but it will. How many seats is that? Uh, 26. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could squeeze a few more in if I really wanted to. But for now, we're going to roll 26. Let's get a cleaning robot in the corridor. Yeah, like this. There we go. Pick up the spine music and sound artists they are they're definitely artists destroy this then we expand the graphic studio right just like that not all rooms are accessible what what do you have a problem with that was weird. Oh, I was blocking the bathroom door. That makes sense. All right. So now we have 33 seats in here. All right. So we're going to need some extra folks for both of these rooms, right? Now that you have all this space. So we will hire these two music and sound people. Just here. <laughs> I was like, wait, this room, this is empty. I forgot that we kind of skipped one there. And what about graphics? Um, yeah, you're efficient. We'll hire you. All right, so let's see if we can find a couple more graphics people here. Poi search, uh, graphics artists. We will go skilled workers, we'll go efficient. We will go automatic repeat. All right, so while that is happening, new PC and console game, genre, fighting, topic. Um, we can do boxing. Do I have boxing? I do. Or we could do, there's like martial arts type games would probably work too, martial arts. Um, I think Kung Fu is a thing. Where's Kung Fu at? We might not have it. No, we do. Or kickboxing. Let's go kickboxing. We will call this Kickboxer. I think it's a movie, right? That's like a 
Jean Claude Van Damme movie from like the 80s, I think. Teenagers, probably for a fighting game. We'll go B plus for now. May end up being size A. We will see. And punch engine. Okay, so this is tech level two. We're going multi platform. Yeah, I just did. I just did two exclusives in a row there fairly recently. Um, can't do it for the guitar because it is too low a tech level. Just like I can't include the mini vision because it's too low of a tech level. But that is fine. Pretty soon the mini vision will get up to tech level two, and then we can start including it again, right? Um, all right, so yeah, we. We're getting some experience with this tech level two stuff. Plus the physics is coming through now. So we'll, we'll be masters at the sound after this though and relatively good with the AI. All right, um, hmm, fighting game. Probably story is not important. Level design, character design, probably important. Uh, innovation, that length, I don't know. Definitely violent. <laughs> that for sure. I mean, it's a fighting game, right? It's it's going to be violent. Um, I really don't know. Let's try something like that. I know it's not right. 21 or 20. So I could make this size A. Or I could cut one feature. Let's cut uh, checkpoints, cheat codes. Yeah, let's cut checkpoints. Just because... It's my first one, right? It's not going to be all that good. So I don't want to spend the extra 800000 If That makes sense, right? I don't want to invest in a game that's going to be mediocre. Um, oh, I did not mean to include the Kateri. I misclicked. I was trying to include the Tapple. All right, so they're doing game reports. High-quality graphics. Oh, man, I am gonna have, I'm going to have trouble finding the sound room for a bit. <laughs> um, and they're doing game reports they're working on I'd like to get one or two graphics artists before I switch to advertising there's one nice to get one more and we're not hidden there we go alright um, my console team is there anything they could do right now I'm out commission work um, backup development team is not doing anything if we're doing a role playing game next Let's update that engine. We're going to have 3D vector graphics, 8-bit sound, primitive AI. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's wait till this research is done. So let's just do an update. Do a Pirate Ninja 4 update. And once that's done, this research will be done, right? And we can include that engine feature as well. All right, improve gameplay. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, Summer Slump's not helping sales any. Minus 30% games and consoles sold. I my consoles selling right now. 53k, 56k. Yeah, Summer Slump's doing us no favors. But that's all right. That'll turn around. Summer Slump will end. Holiday season will follow shortly after that. And then we'll be laughing. All right, so there's another graphics artist. So now we can do some marketing for this. Which is good because it's a brand new IP. Has like no marketing, right? Let's just get it to at least 40, probably 70, I would say. Because again, I'm not I'm not sure how good of a game this is going to be. A lot of games were announced there. All right, no research to do. So let's go hardware, case for stationary. But yeah, we could revise our handheld if only a better screen would come through, right? There's still only the tech level one screen. There's a tech level two option for everything else, right? Actually, there's two graphics chip options. We just researched the new graphics chip fairly recently. But until the screen comes through, kind of waste my time there. All right, so they are done with that. So we can update this RPG engine. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to make many, if any, tech level one games anymore. Sorry, Lucera Mini Vision. But there's a full four tech level two engine features. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a sacrifice to go back and make a tech level one game at this point. But I mean, it depends somewhat on the genre. I find like for whatever reason, I find you can get away with um, a skill game tech level one, for example. All right. Oh, there's new copy protection. So let's uh, let's buy that. 
by Copy Protection Safe Force 3.0. Once again, I would like to apologize to the pirates out there. I need my cut. I need my share. It's just it's just how it is. It's an unfortunate reality. All right, one of my programmers wants to be employee of the month. You know what? You got it. I don't care. You're the employee of the month because you work the night shift. Just kidding. Actually, go home, see your family, see your friends, see your pets, get some sleep. Do not work the night shift. I do appreciate the extra points, though. <laughs> All right, so we're getting this up to 100 height, which is probably overkill. Uh, we got some commission work we could do here. They're bug fixing. We'll be polishing shortly. They're polishing. They're polishing. All right, uh, let's continue development. Ooh, 60 to 80. Uh, I hope that ends up being 70 to 90. I mean, as long as it's over 70, I'd like to get the achievement, right? For having a... No, no beta demo needed. There will not be any overhype this time, that's for certain. And, okay. Okay, we got new cartridge available, so we'll work on that after that. Yeah, so if I when I do get the chance to revise the mini vision, there's some pretty good new tech there. It'll be pretty decent, I think. All right. Uh, search publisher obviously we will go with the publisher we own because we get a $20 payment from them and okay so we can already see spoiler alert it's at least 70% because you can see the achievement in the background there right <laughs> but I'm, I'm not surprised it's my first fighting game and it's not one oh 82 that's better than I thought honestly um but yeah this gameplay 74% that's because my sliders were all kinds of wrong I'm sure but that's what the letters are for. They will tell us <laughs> where we went wrong. All right, so sequel. Role-playing game. Heroes of the Steam? No, Lord of the Rims. That's a 1.8 IP. Lord of the Rims 4. Um, the Rims of Power, I guess. That works. I don't know. We're going to run out of... <laughs> We're going to run out of Lord of the Rims, Lord of the Rims, Lord of the Rings references here soon. Um, we'll leave it at B plus for now, but I have a feeling this will end up being. So I say, I guess we still haven't done like the Hobbit references. And since it is dragons, we could do like Lord of the Rims, Smog's Gold or something, right? <laughs> Multi-platform. No, nope, not retro. Multi-platform. PC. Mimtendu. Top 2. And of course, we'll share Vision Pro. Let's just see what's out there for dev kits. Um, well, the Macintosh is coming. So that will be a good one to use at some point because it's tech level nine, so it will always be there, right? But once we do get the Mini Vision revised, I'll probably go back to doing primarily exclusives, right? Because just doing exclusives now means they're only for, they're either only for the Share Vision Pro or they're only tech level one, right? And I'm not, Terribly interested in either of those right now. All right, so 2320, so this is going to be size A because I'm not cutting three things. Plus, I mean, this is a big IP. We know where these sliders go. This should be a good game, right? We got a ton of experience, although we do not have a ton of experience in the engines. Actually, that's not too bad, though. Like, we're pros at the sound. AI is not bad. At least we're not completely new with the graphics like we are with the physics, but that's fine. I've seen worse. Right. And so that's at 60 hype. So we should only need to hype this once, then we'll get to 90, at which point we can overhype it. Right. And if overhype doesn't work, we can do a demo, which should get it up to uh, close to 100. Get some high quality graphics and some high quality sounds. Um, is there any support people we could hire to help fill out this room a little bit? There's two people. Are they any good? Uh, well, you don't have any negative traits, so I guess we'll hire you. That's a pretty low bar to clear. <laughs> to clear. No commission work there. Endure. Oh, we. Oh, I thought the mini vision durability was maxed. Well, now it's maxed. Oh, I thought I had maxed it already. Apparently not. Oh well, not a big deal. But I mean, it'll be less warranty cases. And I, I feel like extra durability just helps sales straight up, right? But I could be wrong on that. 
that could be me imagining things. All right, Digger Dugger 3 off the market. 5 million in profit plus moved 120,000 of my consoles, which is pretty decent numbers actually. So yeah, console sales went up quite a bit when this when the summer slump ended. Um, they should go up even more when the holiday season hits, which is uh, two months, about two months from now, a little over two months. All right, the commission work just keeps coming in. <laughs> I get eh, another couple programmers in this room would probably be a good thing. All right, research is all caught up. What do we got for hardware? Oh, cartridge. I was hoping it was a screen. I don't know. I had it in my head, head for some reason it was going to be this, the new screen. It wasn't. <laughs> it was cartridge. Um, EcoSim? Is it Eco, my EcoSim still on the market? No. So we could do a sequel to an EcoSim, right? Um... Where's EcoSim engine? That's tech level one. You know what? We're going to leave this engine. We're going to make a tech level one EcoSim. I mean, it's a tycoon game, right? I feel like the engine is less important for a tycoon game. Tycoon game, which is, in my mind, an EcoSim is a tycoon game. So I'm just making that connection. All right. So special marketing. Release for the press. They've probably been idle for a while. I probably should have. Tried to recruit another sound person or two, but oh well, that's not the end of the world. All right, so now let's try to get a couple more sound artists. We have the space for them, I might as well, right? I'm hoping overhype goes through. Let's continue development, get a little polish on. The fact that I have a star in every single category, I'm taking as a fantastic sign. Oh, we said new trend. Pirate Ninja Sport is a groundbreaking milestone in the video game industry and has set a new trend. Um, overhype went through. All right, so we got a new sound chip, it looks like. All right, so new plan. <laughs> we are not going to make an eco sim because it is now the negative trend. Um, so what am I going to make? This is a good question. Uh, I just did an action game. Ooh, sim? I do have a sim out there. I have a sports game out there. Strategy? Strategy was the anti-trend and now it's not. Yeah, let's do a strategy game. So let's update strategy engine. I think it needs work. Oh, definitely needs work. <laughs> needs a lot of work. So while this happens, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna polish. I'm gonna polish Lord of the Rings 4. Make it a really good game. I mean, it's already a really good game, but a little extra polish never hurts, right? Right, there's an extra sound artist and another extra sound artist you get sick all the time but that is fine all right and we still have actually we have space here as well and here yeah let's see if we can get a couple programmers here so end automation and we got an extra sound artist so they like plants so let's make sure there's some plants in this room because i don't know about y'all but i don't see any plants in here right I do not see any plants. Let's get a cactus. Let's even get a variety of plants. Sunflower, palm. Oh, it's like you're at the beach. You're not at work. You're at the beach. Life's a beach. Something like that anyway. All right, so we're waiting for that to be done. Cartridge is done. All right, so let's get the sound chip. So yeah, when that screen comes out, share of mini vision is gonna get a nice big boost. All right, so they're done in that engine. Oh, apparently I didn't do auto there. That's fine. Search Publisher, Cup Comms. Nice. Experience is good. Gain of Stars is good. I think this will be good. I'm going to say 97%. Ooh, 98. I'm glad to be wrong there. Nice. All right. This review is about the sequel to Lord of the Rings 3. We check for you if the newest part of the series is worth it. The gameplay and the storyline are absolutely top class. Guaranteed fun. I never read these. The impressive and detailed graphics blew me away. Perfect. All the game's soundtracks were composed superbly. They perfectly matched the gameplay. The controls of the game are just awesome. Top. The game is a masterpiece. I am absolutely thrilled. You know who else is thrilled? Me. And if you're thrilled with this video, you're enjoying this series, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. So, new strategy game. Let's 
go no sequel sequel <laughs> of course we're gonna do a sequel master moon 4 master moon 3 was uh one of the better games of all time right again we'll stay at b plus for now i have a feeling that's gonna get bumped up though um you know what let's go exclusive where are you at with your vision pro it's a lot cheaper as well to make an exclusive all right it's locked in uh, 2020. So yeah, we're going to leave this as a B plus. I mean, I, I could make it size A. Um, the main reason would be if a feature comes out mid development and we want to add it now, we, we won't be able to, um, but and I mean, size A, it would just be a little better, but it's quite a bit more expensive to make size A. Like, I don't think it's worth it at this point. I mean, if you're cutting features, it's worth it. If you're not cutting features, eh. Just my opinion. Just one man's opinion. Now, it's one man with hundreds of hours in this game, but there are people who know more about this game than I do. Like, I don't really... I don't enjoy Legendary. I find it's just... It's not fun, right? You're, it's, it's very obvious that you're gaming... That you're playing a game... You're, like you're gaming the system. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, all right, so let's get, uh, throw an early patch at that. Let's see how it sells. That's good timing too. It's out right before the holidays. Oh wow, that's selling really well. Oh, oh, oh we got a winner here, folks. I mean, it was 98% review score. Right, so that tracks. Bow Hunter 2 though. Cleaning up. Ooh, Tate was still one publisher of the year. Not Cupcoms, although I think I did um, publish some with Tadu this year, right? Yeah, definitely. I think it was middle of the year. No, it was early. I think I published. I published more with Cupcoms at any rate. Sales should go up. All right, we got even more. Um, let's start our automation. Even more things that aren't a screen, but <laughs> we'll make that handheld better when it inevitably comes out we just don't know when that's going to be all right so let's just do a free update next free update for pretty much everything here i'm curious to see console sales here when the, the holiday season you is about to start i mean technically it started but we won't see the sales results until now all right so 113,000 mini visions a week 133,000. Pro, well, the Cherubism Pro is a week. So those are both really good numbers. I'm happy with those. This is going to be a good holiday season, I feel. Um, so, yeah, we can't. There's nothing really we can do here until we get that screen, right? Just waiting for that screen. But we'll have, like, really good tech level 2 stuff for pretty much everything by the time the time comes. By the time the time comes, what kind of sentence is that, Luch? I don't know. Um, you do another action game. I mean, it is the trend, right? Because there'll be another game here. It's not like people will be sick of it. Yeah, we're going to do another action game. Um, that engine will need a little bit of updating, I think. It'll need the AI for sure. Or the physics, sorry. Physics, not the AI. Yeah, that's all it needs, though. But let's get in there. Get that in there. Kind of tuck that in, you know. Ooh, 80 to 100. That's good. Let's continue development. And let's uh, pre-release for the press. And then overhype. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, second best game of all time. Or second best selling game of all time. Although, <laughs> the, way, uh, the way Lord of the Rims 4 is, is selling, it's going to be up here soon. I mean, it's already... Yeah, it's already 61st. I thought it was going to be higher <laughs> when I started scrolling. Um, anyway, these pink ones are subsidiaries I own is why that, that's a pink. Green are mine, obviously. But, I mean, I have almost the top 10. Well, Super Mario World 3, that passes hit the head 3, which is, which is off the market. I'll have the top 10. 
but it's not selling. It's only selling 8K a week. So, well, you know what? Yeah. By the time the holiday season is over, I should have the top 10. Should have them all. We take that. We call that a win. Overhype went through. Yeah, that's as good. All right. Um, let's see if we can get. Let's see if we can get a couple more graphics artists. Let's go for Lucky this time. I do like Lucky. Um, here, let's throw an update. Fire Ninjas Four. All right, and I'm just gonna. No, you know what? I was gonna polish, but I should probably get this out because it's the holiday season. You know, take advantage of as much of the holiday season as they can. Um, this is an exclusive, so it's going to sell like trash, essentially. I mean, my last exclusive exclusive. It's only selling 2K a week, right? It lost it's lost a million dollars. Um, so that's not good. <laughs> but, eh, no, it only sold 21,000 with Cherubis and Pros. Yeah, so that's, that's not good. And, and I mean, it's given 2% to sales. 2%? Yeah. Because it's it was an exclusive game between 80 and 89%. Anyway. Well, this one's over. Ooh, this one might move some units, though. This one might sell some systems. Because that 97% is... That's good. That's very, very good. All right. And... Plan was what? Action? Okay. I got to remember that next episode, make an action game because that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already consider supporting me on Patreon links in the description down below. Shout out to my patrons. Couldn't do it without them. Most importantly though, be good to each other. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.